one of Britain's oldest established and peaceful Muslim communities, has launched a national doorstep and publicity campaign to reassert true Islamic principles of peace and to counter the extremists who hijack the faith for political ends. The campaign was launched with a message of loyalty, freedom and peace on 100 buses in central London on Monday 18th January. Ahmadi Muslims will be calling on nearly 3 million households and presenting people with a leaflet that highlights Islam's commitment to fundamental values of loyalty, freedom, equality, respect and peace. The nationwide grassroots campaign, supported by a new website, loveforallhatredfornone.org, seeks to change the perception of Islam by clarifying its true teachings and emphasizing the need for these to be put in practice by all Muslims. This drive to promote peace has been repeatedly emphasized by the worldwide leader of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, His Holiness Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad, who has said, A true Muslim can never raise his voice in hatred against his fellow citizens, nor for that matter against the ruling authority or government of the time. He should remain loyal and fully abide by the laws of the land of which he is a subject. Uh, on instructions of Hazrat Amir Mubineen, we decided to start a campaign in the UK to put forward the true message of Islam. Loyalty is very, very important because Islam teaches us that we should be loyal to the country that we live in. Unfortunately, you see some of the Muslims, especially who have uh, started uh, suicide bombings, have given a very wrong picture of Islam to the world. And we are trying to convey the true meaning of jihad to the people of this country. We want to give confidence to the people of this country that the true Islam is that of peace and living together in harmony with uh, your neighbors, your country, and your nation. The campaign comes at a time when Islamophobia is at an increase. Yeah. A recent survey by an independent agency in the UK had found that a quarter of respondents had described Islam as the worst religion on earth. Well, on the whole, we are. Unfortunately, there are some individuals that make it hard. I think it's the people that make the society, yeah. you know. I mean, every, everywhere you go, it's always, they teach about love and peace, which go together. At the end of the day, it's the people who decides. You know, we're all equal human beings, and I believe that no matter what race, not what culture, what you're into, we should all respect each other, love each other, and treat each other like human beings. Right. And um, forget the fact of, you know, fighting over land or not agreeing with one's religion because of this God or that God. The Ahmadiyya Muslim community, established in 195 countries with 160 million followers, is renowned for its interfaith activities and humanitarian efforts that reflect its motto of love for all, hatred for none.